And at 445, we continue to track Fiona out in the Atlantic. Now a powerful category four, but once again, not coming here. That's Let's okay. start with today's That's forecast. Okay. Um, we will. We will be uh, looking at temperatures in the mid 90s. It is going to be a hot day with temperatures raining from 95 to 94. Chance of rainfall about 10%. There's a quick disturbance moving through, but overall not many of you are going to see rain. Uh, but you can see a hot day to end summer tomorrow a little bit hotter, maybe mid to upper 90s in a few spots, but then some changes. We got a weak boundary coming in, dropping us into the low 90s on Friday, staying hot into the weekend. But look at this next week. We have a cool front coming in around Monday into Tuesday, and that cool front, it is going to play a role in the tropics as we track our Invest 98 heading into the Caribbean and the timing of that front and really the trough associated with the front. That's what that trough of low pressure is what sends cold fronts down. That is going to be an important uh, factor in the steering currents next week. Now the tropics, they are active. We have two named storms, Fiona, Cat 4. We have Gaston, a tropical storm. We have Invest 98. That's the feature we're watching. And then there's two other tropical features out in the uh, deeper Atlantic and just off the continent of Africa. Those are watched for developments. So the one we're really going to be watching here in the United States is Invest 98. Fiona bringing impacts to Bermuda tonight and then Nova Scotia Friday night into Saturday. So that's the big impactful storm in the near term. But Invest 98 is certainly something to watch. Now this morning, there's not much to it. It's still fighting shear from actually outflow from Fiona pushing down on it. So it's not very organized this morning, but over the next couple of days, it'll be heading towards the Caribbean and it is going to be moving into a more favorable environment. And we do think it's going to organize in this part of the Caribbean. So by Thursday in the Caribbean and in the Central Caribbean by this weekend. So we still have a long ways to track this thing. It's still a long ways out here. It's no imminent threat to the United States, but there are some signs that some of us probably need to be paying attention to it into next week. So we're fairly confident it's going to stay here heading due west basically as we go through the weekend. Now next week, Sunday into Monday, as that front starts to sag down, that trough coming down with it is going to tug on this and that's going to start to turn this thing to the north. The big question right now is, well, where does it turn? Does it turn further closer to the Yucatan or does it turn closer to Cuba? head up into the eastern Gulf of Mexico. These are all scenarios that could play out, but really the trough is the key part here and the timing of the trough. So by Monday, notice there's the trough. It's pulling on it. Now, if that trough leaves too quickly, well, then the system will start to feel less of a tug and that ridge will start to build in. This is a scenario that could push it a little further into the Gulf. But if that trough lingers a little bit longer or is even a tad bit slower, well then Invest 98 will feel that tug longer and it will turn it more dramatically. So that would be a bigger Florida threat. All the scenarios, Gulf Coast region need to be tracking it, but there's still just so many uncertainties. One, the system hasn't even formed and two, we've got it still a week before it even approaches the Gulf of Mexico. So long time to watch it. Those are the really scenarios we'll be paying attention to over the next seven days. But for now, we're just watching and waiting kind of the hardest part, honestly. But there's your seven day forecast. Lots of heat, lots of dry weather all the way through Saturday, maybe a few storms on Sunday. And then there's our little cool front knocking us back into the 80s by Tuesday.